everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Painting Table. This is my usually weekly show, um, catching you guys up on what I've been working on, upcoming projects, and things that I've finished. I haven't done this show in a month, and here's why. Um, so I have been at home for the last two to three weeks, um, as my wife had a fairly routine surgery, but she wasn't able to pick up anything more than a pound or two uh, during that time, and that means that basically, I couldn't leave my kids alone. So, so I had to basically be um, with my kids for that two week periods um, during her recovery. And that's when I haven't been in the studio. So actually this is the first full day I've spent in the studio um, since that time. Uh, recording games and stuff and this is the first chance I've actually had to catch you guys up on what I've done now The good news is I got lots of painting done. I got lots of stuff finished I've been at home for over two weeks um, and that's meant that I've been cranking out projects getting stuff done getting stuff assembled um, And that's been fairly productive. So what you're gonna see today is the sum total of what I finished in these two weeks I think because I might have lost track of what I've been working on Because uh, it's quite a bit, but you'll see what I got done. Um, I have an entirely new game, start to finish, prepped so that I can film some uh, Let's Play and some games. Um, I have some stuff you've probably already seen in videos that, that is finished and some stuff you haven't seen in videos that's finished. Uh, and then a whole bunch of stuff that of course is always in progress. You can see the in progress pile <laughs> and what I'll be working on. Um, it's also meant that that's why my um, sit and talk show, my piece of ash for this month is late. Uh, I have not been able to go to the studio and sit for an hour and answer questions and record it. So actually right after I'm done filming this on the paint table, I'm gonna sit and record my piece of ash, build some miniatures, um, and you'll be able to watch that on Monday. So the second Monday of the month, so the first Monday of the month. So yeah, you're seeing this on Saturday. I'm also tomorrow recording a bunch of Widgets and Wonders because I've run out of Widgets and Wonders and I need to record a whole bunch of them. Um, some of which you'll see some of this stuff in probably, so a separate feature, so I won't go too detailed into the actual stuff. Uh, yeah, and that's it, that'll catch you up. So any, without any further ado, no more sort of rambling, I'll show you guys what I got done during the last 30 days. All right, so here you go. It probably wasn't 30 days, now that I think, but it's probably more like three weeks. Maybe I think I did one. I thought I did one in April at least it wasn't until like I did not do any in April So anyway, here we go. Um, let's show you a thing by thing So first of all, I painted a whole bunch of warbands for relic quest now You've probably seen two of these you've seen the founding forge fathers back here my dwarves um, Each of them named after an amazing indiegogo backer. They made all this possible. So we've got Tim uh, Rodas, the engineer, Skerolf, the lord, Martin, the BSB, Zack, and Deadly Headley, the two slayers, and Padraic, the runesmith, as well. They were one of my warbands uh, for my second ever realm quest. Then we've got Joe Tally, Eric, and Brody, the Tyrad of Tyrants, Ogre Tyrants, that I painted up as well. Um, these guys are from a variety of manufacturers. Actually, I should go through that all. Oh, I will. Um, so, except for these two miniatures, which are DW, these are all Avatars of War. Um, Reverse that here. We have two GW ogres and avatars of war ogre and then we have three avatars of war And this is something you haven't seen the four horsemen uh, chaos lords and a herald pink herald of uh, of uh, Corn uh, and then a GW mounted Nurgle Lord and that's Mark Tor Sean and Richard all of whom are also awesome Indiegogo you go backers They're gonna have their own adventure that you will see coming up very very soon um, super fun to paint all these fantasy miniatures uh, And just a great fun series to film too and a big thank you to all those guys that helped make all this possible So there's the first clump of guys that I finished and then I have the big project, which was getting Horizon Wars ready. Um, this is Buildings by Impudent Mortal. So these are all Impudent Mortal wrecked sort of like buildings and in a variety of colors, um, all by me. Uh, these are all, uh, what is it, foregrounds, little signs. Um, they actually come pre-painted, but you just assemble them yourself. So little billboardy things, um, and you cut out the designs to glue on them afterwards. Uh, and then all of my robots for Horizon Wars are from the Robotech Tactics miniature game, um, which uh, is cool. Actually, sorry, the robots are. The infantry is from Drop Zone Commander. Um, so this is my Earth Defense Force. I have a VF-1 um, Valkyrie in Guardian mode. I have four Destroids, two Spartans, one melee and one gun pod. Uh, and two phalanxes, one missile pod and one with reflex missiles. And then I've got three VF1s in battleoid mode. Um, this is just the perfect kind of game. Oh, there's gonna be a let's play on it and also a uh, Witches and Wonders on some of the, the, like the book itself. Actually, probably not a Witches and Wonders, probably just a let's play. Um, and you'll find out more about it, but it's basically, if I was gonna give you guys an overview, it's Frostgrave with robots. Uh, so it's a combined arms game. You can use infantry, traditional tanks, um, and light vehicles, mechs, which you design yourself any way you want, and aircraft, which you also design yourself any way you want, um, to play a six to 15 millimeter 
robot skirmish game. So I'm using it for uh, Robotech, and this is my EDF. Then I got my Zentradi over here. Uh, I have a heavy artillery battle pod, three regular battle pods, a scout pod, and a officer pod. Uh, I've got more stuff to paint for that. I have a recovery pod. Um, some power armor, some of the male pattern power armor as well. Uh, but they're just going to be all robots because the thing with the Zentradi is they're all huge, right? So I might do, <laughs> eventually, if I figure out what I want to do for Zentradi on foot, so like the actual Zentradi infantry, which would be huge compared to humans, um, I might do some super heavy infantry stuff or just use them as like super light mechs. But for the most part, they're going to have non-conventional stuff until the neural fighter comes out and then I'll have some aircraft for them too. Um, I've still got more stuff I could paint for this, but I'm going to keep the, the let's play simple. Uh, and that means that this is the two starting forces that we'll play and try out the game with. I also made tons of accessories. I thought that was worth showing. I made an editable um, card system. So this is, I've designed all my own max and stuff and then I've put their stats on here. Uh, and what that does is let me just like quickly assemble an army when I'm using either of these forces. But I've also got blank ones. They're uploaded in the file section of the, um, the Horizon Wars Facebook group, which if you're interested in the game, go, go ask Roby. He's in there. He'll, he'll answer all your questions. And I made action tokens because basically what happens is when you deploy a miniature, um, every single model fights by itself. And at the start of the turn, it has two actions and it can spend them also during your opponent's activations. So you activate unit by unit back and forth. Um, it's not I go, you go where you do whole army and you spend actions when an element activates. So let's say something activated my line of sight, he could spend an action to shoot it and then he'd have one action when he actually goes to activate um, and you just flip these basically to make them go. So they're my usual MO. They're um, on a sheet, you punch them with a one inch hole punch and then you just, uh, well I had them printed on card too, so nice and robust. Um, and then once they're all said and done, they are, you know, finished like this. Yay. Um, and that's some of the resources I made, but they're all available for download. You go to the Horizon Wars uh, Facebook group, they're in the file section. Uh, and that's it, so that's what I got done painting-wise. These were all painted with my airbrush, so uh, I think I used some Liquitex uh, gray primer to start off with, then some, I think it was golden? Yeah, I think it's golden high flow paints. That's some raw umber there. Uh, and then just various different shades. So like some of them are like a blue gray, some of them are more of a beigey gray, some of them are like a, a lighter beige, like just to make the tones different. Cause you can, you can really do a lot just by making your highlight tone different. Like the buildings all look like they're different, even though they're actually starting off in the same color and they have the same raw umber on them. Nice simple base coat, still be usable for heavy gear and other small scale games too. Uh, and then finally, I've been adding to my Dark Age Force. So this is a new Forsaken army. It's Saint Mark, the old OG, the original Saint. Uh, I finished him up. I finished up two of the Outcast Bounty Hunters, Nathaniel and Orchid. Um, and uh, yeah, and two Strikes as well, an old Strike and an old Strike Leader. These are all old minis. Um, I'm still piling through my collection of old uh, Dark Age minis, and I have tons of stuff to go. You'll see some of the unpainted pile, but I'm playing Dark Age tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Uh, and I'm gonna try out the Forces of Mark. So the Followers of Mark instead of the Followers of John. Um, and that's mostly because my opponent's coming in with Scarred, which is the other army I play right now for Dark Age. Uh, and I don't want to do a mirror match, so I thought I'd try a new Forsaken army. Um, and there's a little bit more to add to it. I got to finish tonight, and you'll see that in just a second. So here's a very small portion of my to-do list. <laughs> for tomorrow, I got to get these four guys done. Uh, they are some Forsaken Shades, which are all part of the Fallers Mark. Um, they have no melee attacks. They shoot little poison paralysis darts at you. So they've got toxic darts and paralysis darts, and they're great for like screwing with activations and stuff like that. And they need to be done for tomorrow, so they're getting painted tonight. The base coats and washes are already done in them, um, and then they're just gonna get sort of finished up. Then, I've got some Toha. I need to get these guys finished for, and actually, sorry, something I'm gonna assemble while I do my sit and talk to, uh, today. These are all to show off more stuff from Human Sphere in 3. So I wanna show off how hull projectors work now, uh, which is these two guys, these two coattails, uh, the mobile units, they're super jumping hull projectors. I have a, um, Baggage, I need to paint him because the one I painted, which I thought was him, it was actually the one that's part of the Assault Pioneers. So I'm gonna paint this uh, Chaxa um, Auxiliary. I have a Coast Wheel, who's an awesome assault engineer. He's a mine layer with a K1 combi rifle. He can lead one of my triads, so I'm gonna paint him as well. And I'm gonna paint him two little buddies. And his two little buddies are both gonna be McCall Troops Heavy Flamethrowers, because McCalls are amazing. Um, they've got the Zero V smoke grenades, heavy flamethrowers, and are just great, cheap, like, warband guys. Uh, finally, I've got the Jump Troop, the AD Toha guy I gotta paint, uh, and the Kaeltar Specialists. Ferroware got a huge upgrade in N3, uh, sorry, in Human Sphere N3, and so I wanna be able to showcase that too. So they're gonna get painted the two Pokemon Masters and their little Pokemans, uh, along with uh, the rest of that Toha stuff. Then, last but not least, new project after Horizon Wars, we've got 
Bushido. Uh, these are two forces, the Tengu, uh, and these guys are the cult of, I don't remember. They're the undead guys. Undead rotting farmers, puppet master, all kinds of gross stuff. They're super cool. Uh, these will be the two forces I'll do the let's play with for this game. Um, we've got some scenery too. This is the pre-painted, well actually not even painted. It's just cast in this color stuff. And then I'm gonna finish it with some detailing um, from Plastcraft Grave, it's colored stuff. So this is uh, the Tory gate and bridge. And this one is a shrine gate and some little shiny things to go with it too. Uh, it's only a two by two board for, um, Bushido, and so I'm actually going to use a Rumble Battle Tile from GW and this stuff, and then just some of the trees and rocks and stuff I already have around uh, as my basic game table for it. Uh, and the prep should be pretty simple, but just like when I do Frostgrave, like a, a huge part of the heavy lifting for bringing you guys a new game, you know me, I won't do anything without doing it right, and that means it's got to have an appropriate table. So just like Horizon Wars, like I'm not just going to throw down some hills and trees and call it done, like I'm going to make it an appropriate looking game, because um, that way you guys get to see it the way it's supposed to look, and I think you guys deserve that, because that's the reason I do all this, is that you guys can have something you enjoy watching. And then last but not least, I have two Imperial Knights. These guys need to get primed. So you see, I, I left them all in sub-assemblies. Um, so like legs, all the plates are actually off them. Uh, and that means that I can prime and airbrush everything, all the weapon arms too, um, and get all the base coats finished, and then paint them in pieces and assemble them when they're done. So it's just a way easier thing to do that's something this big. And let me tell you, it took me two days to build them. Like, I could not, I, I forgot how detailed some of these kits are, especially when everything's articulated, with these, like these Imperial Knights. And doing the assembly, like, it took forever. I've they played so many skirmish games now sometimes I forget that there's these huge model kits and then I remember why I love playing skirmish games so much so I'm looking forward to trying them out and getting them built and trying out Renegade in particular I'm gonna do a three game series just showing off the, the missions from Renegade and then have like a standing duel sort of like challenge out there if you want to come in and duel my knights. Um, but we're gonna give uh, give these guys a paint job and they'll be added to both my regular 40K armies and also my horse heresy armies. So I'm gonna do them in a house that was kind of, oh, let's say questionable. And that's gonna be sort of my, my stuff for next week. So in order of sort of like importance, these guys, these guys, these guys are getting kind of done around it along with the scenery. Uh, and then the knights uh, will get done in bits and pieces as I go to try and get them on the table too. So there you go, sort of a super size edition of uh, On the Paint Table this week. I got so much stuff going on, it's bananas. <laughs> and summer's coming up too. There's other projects of, the, of games I wanna show you guys and let's plays I wanna do. It's just, it's a treadmill. You never stop running. It's just forever and ever and ever. Um, but that's, man, I would get bored if it wasn't this way. I, I love I love a challenge and I love doing this. And I especially love putting together new games. I had so much fun doing Horizon Wars. Actually, I think that kept me kind of sane during my two weeks stuck at home not being able to work because I hate not being able to work. Um, so having a project like that that I could sink my teeth into and crank out was a big boon because it kept me from going crazy. And you know, I love my kids, but it's <laughs> something to focus on when your house is being destroyed slowly but surely um, by children, especially the boy. The boy loves to destroy. It's all he does. The girl likes to build. The boy loves to destroy. Um, so we'll see this, uh, hopefully, uh, some of the stuff done next week. I'm hoping the Toha and the, well, they need to be done. I'm recording on Wednesday with the Toha with Owen, um, and I'm recording tomorrow with the Shade, so you'll at least see them finished. Uh, and then hopefully some more progress and stuff on the nights and I'll have some cool stuff to show off. So uh, we'll see you next Saturday for more on the paint table. This should get back to regular now because I'm able to film again. I have lots of games coming up this week. I'm filming again tomorrow um, and things are sort of returning back to normal, <laughs> which is good because, uh, you know, take a bunch of weeks off and you start to run out of content. Um, as you saw, as I wasn't doing Witches of Wonders and I wasn't doing on the paint table. Uh, although those are kind of temporal and I can't just do them way in advance and stuff. But we'll see you on Saturday for more of this. Until then, I'm Ash. Happy Gaming.